Hello everybody, just wanted to share with you what's happening actually behind the scene. I made this video yesterday and I launched it uh, live uh, and then I obviously replayed that loop um, for a few hours. Uh, the video I'm talking about is particularly the video I made on top of the hill uh, just above our uh, town where you could see the houses and the, and the beach. Now, as you can see, uh, this is the uh, YouTube channel of my wife where I post the videos and I show you mine as well. Uh, as you can see, the first, straight away as you wake up first thing in the morning, you look at your channel to see how it's done. Uh, this is what they've done. Uh, straight away, limited it. My video, uh, where I didn't even say anything, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I didn't say much. Uh, politics. Um, this is the freedom we have. This is the democracy we have. And it's ironic that I was talking about uh, persecution of Christians. Uh, that is uh, right here under our nose. And, you know, my video is limited. What does it say? It says... This video is running limited or no ads due to content identified as not suitable for most advertisers. Well, it's none of your business, YouTube. It's nothing to do with you. If it is not suitable for the advertisers, then they will decide. It's not for you to decide. So this is what they've actually, this is limited. Some of my videos were actually completely uh, demonetized. What that means is under this monetization, if you're not familiar with the YouTube system <laughs> or the, their behavior, basically uh, you can monetize your video, your channel after you've got at least a thousand subscribers. Now my wife's obviously my wife's channel's got more than that uh, and she's worked hard uh, for years to get to where she is. So she monetized them. And my channel, uh, which is our ministry channel, uh, we built up subscribers, past thousand subscribers. Uh, coincidentally, it was at the time that um, COVID uh, popped out <laughs> from the woodwork. <laughs> and and uh, what I said, uh, caused my channel to be censored and my channel went down not only uh, was kind of shadow banned but also my subscribers dwindled down suddenly uh, and it wasn't like people unsubscribing because you could see it's a like a machine doing it it's, it was the com computer doing it because it was just radically going down before your eyes so my subscribers went down to uh, about a hundred, a hundred maybe something, and and then we had to work hard again to build it up to what it is, which is around five and just over five hundred subscribers now, uh, and, and and I'll show you. Uh, this is my channel. This is the Jesus Ministries uh, YouTube channel, which you can't if you search it on YouTube, you cannot find that unless you actually go to jesusministries.co.uk website and from that, from there, uh, click on the YouTube icon and then that will bring you to our, our YouTube channel. They're also, uh, like I said, they're restricted. And the same videos that are published on my wife's channel, for, for example, this uh, video that we published a few days ago, um, when would you disobey the authorities? And that video, again, we uh, published it live and then looped it, uh, replayed it. Each one of them, the first one got 272 views on this channel and then the loop got 139 views. Um, it wasn't brilliant, but it was something. Um, but the same video here, has done seven views. 
Yeah, I, I know you tell me it's to do with the subscribers. Yes, the subscribers are far less than the other one, but it, it's also restricted, shadow banned. And they don't even tell you here. Here, and uh, they've told me this video is limited. And uh, we've had videos demonetized, videos completely uh, restricted at all. So it wasn't yellow uh, warning sign here. It was actually red. So, uh, this is uh, the freedom of expression we have in the West, and this is the democracy we have that we boast about, and uh, we're proud that we have that. I'm sure this very video will be also uh, at least limited, and less people, that means they're also limited, they don't tell you this, but they that means they don't even show it to many people, to as many people. That's what that also means. Um, and I keep thinking, what on earth did I say in my video? Uh, because I, since, since what happened to our YouTube channel, our ministry channel, uh, I've been basically censoring myself. I still say what I want to say, but I try to go around, beat about the bush, and you can see me, you know, trying to find different ways to, to say things, and sometimes uh, trying to go a long way to, you know, to get to the point. But, however, I still say what I need to say. I, I have no restrictions, but I try to not hit some keywords so their computers won't... Uh, pick on uh, this channel as well and ban us altogether. Um, the reason I started publishing my videos on this site is to reach more people. It is not for money. Let's just get the, the facts right and, and set the records right. And to do that, I'll actually go ahead here and show you my or our uh, revenue from YouTube channel so you can see and uh, this is not something you can rely on obviously they can shut you down at any time they want and uh, this is what we've got in the last week in the last week last seven days $30 uh, this $30 obviously will be um, taxed and you'll have to pay some fees to uh, PayPal uh, and if you're transferring it to it's, it's a dollar if you're transferring it to pound or converting it then you have to pay fees as well so it's not exactly how much you get uh, but even that $30 in a week it's not going to pay anything it's not going to pay my children's chocolate money so we're not doing this for this although i understand uh, many people use their ministry primarily at least to say the least only for money but this is not what i want to do if if it was money that i was after i tell you this and you can believe me or disbelieve me it doesn't matter uh, i tell you the truth uh, i could have taken a job as a minister uh, where I was pastoring, uh, I was part of the uh, leadership of a church, a local church, uh, and I could take that job as my primary job and get paid. But I didn't want that. I wanted to keep my own uh, full-time job in a secular world and do the ministry as an add-on without any pays whatsoever I wanted to do it voluntarily and I did that for as long as I was there uh, why I do that because I believe freely you've been given freely give that's what the scriptures tells me so I give freely because I've been given freely and that's where I stand as far as uh, the ministry and money is concerned I don't mix up the two because it just creates conflict of interest and I don't want that. 
if people want to donate they're quite welcome we have on our website um, donate buttons uh, we have tips um, we have patreon membership we have other things that people can there are many there are different various ways that people can support us and help us they can buy things from us uh, however asking for money directly from people saying come and you know do this you need to uh, give me this money and God will bless you I will never do that I've never done that I will never do that although it is in a sense biblical when you bless you will be blessed yes it is but I, I, you know I'm not teaching that because there's a lot involved in that and um, they don't teach you yes you will be blessed when you bless but it has to be without expectations simple as that to, to put it simply is just that you have to give it as though that money is gone and you don't expect anything in return if you expect in return you're trying to make a deal with God if you do this I'll do that or I'll do this you're trying to bribe God and, and, and I think that is totally wrong God knows your heart and he will not bless you but he will bless you if you totally willfully and happily give without any expectations in return uh, so that is basically and I'm not going to open up that is a sermon on its own uh, but what I was going to say and show here in this video is that uh, we're not doing this for money if people anybody watching me or anybody uh, YouTube I know that you, you have got your computers uh, your algorithm picking on my videos you probably have voice recognition and you recognize my voice because you you've also uh, restricted my other websites which has got nothing to do with ministry nothing to do with politics at all like my engineering site and so our money comes from these channels and the way we live I am a college lecturer and this is my website total electrical training dot uh, we've got different uh, you know videos there training uh, videos projects and all, and all that for different levels and we also sell electronic uh, items and tools etc but I know you've restricted that one as well and, and, and I know um, it's not just your computers your computers your system you know monitoring um, me and people like me but I think you actually have your uh, slaves your servants actually sat there watching after your computers send out some alarms to you you start actually watching me and I know YouTube mr. or mrs. YouTube you're watching me I don't care you're shadow banning me or my wife's channel we still say our things and you know to be honest people suggested to go on rumbles and we have actually uh, an account on rumbles as well our videos go there automatically but uh, rumbles algorithm is strange to say the least and and the views are pathetic so we don't get any views there at all and uh, there is no revenue there whatsoever so and that's that but this is what we have because that's the only channel that actually gives us some money and that's this uh, in the last seven days $30 who can live on $30 which is basically two just over um, just over three dollar a day on three dollar a day I cannot run the lights that I have turned on right now as I speak I cannot keep them on for three dollar a day I can't have these lights on uh, just to make this this very video so uh, that is not my aim my aim is to reach people raise awareness of what's happening broaden their minds and educate them our channels are all about education and we've got like I said we've got this uh, website 
which is also restricted in a way. I don't know why, it's not politics, it's all engineering. We've got uh, the truly majestic, under that we've linked, uh, apart from that engineering, we've linked all the things that we have like psoriasis and eczema healing, uh, which is a menu here that takes you to our other website, uh, which is this, Itch Exorcist, which is all about healing naturally if you have eczema or psoriasis. So that is our main source of income if, you, if you're really interested and uh, curious to know, uh, you know what we're doing. This is what we're doing uh, because my full-time job, I quit my job because of all this nonsense that came along with the pandemic. I said it again, I said the word, uh, and, and, and I know that's picked up again by their agents, be it computers or, uh, or uh, slaves out there watching me. Uh, just after that, as, as soon as their um, idiotic ways of dealing with people came uh, at college where I was teaching, um, the corridors turned into um, passages that you have to basically tell you where to go, how to walk, basically what to wear and all that. Before they started implementing all those things, I quit my job because of those things. So again, for those who are interested and curious uh, what I'm doing or what we're doing, that, that was my job and I quit that two years ago. Um, to be exact, two years ago exactly. And, and I quit it because of these, uh, their dictatorship telling us how to uh, go about our life, how to do our job, what, how to even walk. You know, you have to go a certain way up the stairs and come down a certain way up, down the stairs. You have to uh, wear a mask and you ha we have to stick some, um, something up your nose and this and that and I didn't let them do that at all so I just quit before that even started being implemented because I could see what's coming as I you know see things ahead of time uh, so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I will start uh, totally uncensored uh, unbiased videos of my own where I will say quite freely, actually truly express myself, my feelings, everything, totally uncensored and make my um, videos in a way that I actually express my feelings and everything I want to say freely and, and put them on Patreon. Now, if I know that you know, you can tell me on this video that will give me some sort of a, some sort of a, um, estimate. If I know I have uh, enough supporters on Patreon, then I will start making those videos weekly and put those out there if you're interested. Uh, if you're not, then, you know, there's no point. Uh, so to start with, uh, instead of saying, you know, if I have enough supporters because you just think, well, how long is a piece of string? Um, I don't want to ask for 500 people and I don't want to ask even for 50 people. I want to ask for only five people. If five people step forward and say, we'll support you on Patreon, um, our Patreon link is at the bottom of every video that we make and so if you join then I'll start making those videos and in those videos I'll be freely talking so the videos will be on patreon and only the members can watch them and there you learn how to see past the surface how to read between the lines and you know I'll basically openly discuss many things and freely express my feelings about what's going on in the world uh, not just politics the the word of god everything 
because you know like I said we are persecuted and there's no um, there's no question about that why pull any punches so just say say as it is anyway just wanted to share with you this and show you to prove it to you that I'm not doing this for money if I like I said if I wanted to do this for money I, I had the opportunity to do this actually in a local church and be paid to to do the ministry but I don't want that because that goes against the grain for me at least and um, you know freely you've been given so freely give that's my motto and that's my you know uh, one of the favorite scriptures that I like to quote every now and then but like I said donation help gifts and you know people if you if people want to buy me something that's quite you know welcome and you know it's there it's down to their discretion I'm not asking people to do that anyway now you know where we are uh, it, it was ironic it was funny to me that this video was limited the very video that I was just talking about uh, how Christians are limited restricted discriminated against or persecuted in the West and it's not just that just something that's happening in the Far East or the Middle East so uh, uh, the same video got limited well now you know the proof is in the pudding now uh, you can see it yourself and now you if you didn't believe me yesterday uh, I hope you believe me now all right I uh, hope you have a wonderful day for the rest of the day whatever is left of it and God bless you Till next message, goodbye.